I've had a lot of requests to put together some extra examples of intersection and union problems. Hopefully these problems will help you review for the test. I'm doing the example problems from the book. This is all on page 7 in section 1.1. This is problem 5. Uh, let's take a look at problem 5, part A. This is the intersection of segment AB and segment BC. You can see that intersection symbol there. Remember what that means. That means the, the overlap between those two segments. Anywhere where those two segments cross each other. Um, and so all I have to do here is trace segment AB and I can trace all along its length and I can go back and I can trace segment BC and hopefully you can see the only place where these two segments overlap is just at point B. So the correct answer for 5A is just point B. Let's take a look at part B. Part B is a union, this time you see the U shape there, between ray EC and ray EA. Remember the union contains all points from either one of those rays. So I'm just going to uh, trace those two rays and notice I'm also going to put those ending arrows as well. So here is EC. It continues out. You see I've got the arrow there. EA is going in this direction. And uh, two possibilities. I can call this angle AEC or that's also a line. So I could call it any possible naming for that line. Um, for example, I could call it line AE. So because it's a straight angle and a line, it can be named either possibility, but that's the union. All right, moving on to part C, you'll see that it is the intersection, got the upside down U, between line AC and line DB. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to trace those two lines. Remember the intersection is wherever they overlap. So we go in and we trace line AC and again notice that I'm going to trace all the way along here and I'm going to put the arrows at the end to show that this can continue on infinitely should that make a difference in my final answer. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back now after doing AC and I'm going to do line DB. Remember we're looking for where those two things intersect each other and you can see here we're only double coloring in this one spot here correct answer should be that the intersection is point E. Time to move on to part D. In part D you'll see we have the intersection of segment DC with segment AB and remember the intersection is going to be the overlap of those two segments but if you take a look here DC is right here AB is down here at the bottom those are segments, they're not lines. Uh, they appear to be parallel, we don't know that they're parallel, but in this case it doesn't matter. They don't overlap anywhere, uh, means there's no solution, there is no intersection. All right, part E can be a little bit tricky. You'll see part E is the intersection, so the overlap, between ray AC and ray uh, between ray AC and ray EC. Okay, um, EC is smaller. I'm actually going to do EC first. Okay, and keep in mind it's a ray, so I have to have that arrow at the end so I don't accidentally leave just a segment. Okay, so that's my first. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do ray AC. Okay, notice AC starts out at A, goes along. It's not overlapping the green, not overlapping the green, and suddenly starting at point E, it's overlapping the green all the way along here. And remember, it's a ray, so it's going to continue to overlap the green onto infinity. So you can see my double coloring here starts at E, it goes out through C, it continues on infinitely. Uh, as a result, my final overlap, my final intersection is that entire ray, EC. Starts at E, goes out to C. 
All right, we're moving on to 5F now. 5F is the union of ray BA with ray BC. Keep in mind the union unites. It combines everything together that's included as part of either. So let's take a look at this. BA starts at B, goes out to A, and remember, you want to extend it past there. It's got that arrow going on forever. Um, BC starts at B, goes out to C. Again, you've got that arrow there continuing on forever. You can see that what I drew there is an angle. It's angle A, B, C, or you could call it angle C, B, A. You don't want to call it angle B because you've got multiple angle Bs there at vertex B. So we'll call it angle A, B, C. We've got our final example here, 5G. Notice it's the union of segment EC with segment CB with segment BE. Remember that the union involves every point on any of those. So you can see that I go in and I can trace segment EC. I can trace CB. And I can trace segment BE. Final shape here that I've traced, again the union uniting everything, is a triangle. And we would name that triangle any combination of those points. ECB is one possible answer.